bring my hand inside the collar. Everyone knows this one. I'm gonna show you guys a variation today, so keeping it basic. I'm gonna open the collar, slide the palm up. So that means four fingers inside, thumb stays on the outside, and I slide the hand inside. I like to say like you're putting on a glove, that way it's nice and snug, okay? Once I have this position, what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna connect everything like I'm planking onto the person, okay? My free handle, and every time you do this, what it does is it creates a lot of pressure. Like you're putting all your weight on top of your forearm and your elbow and driving on his sternum, like collapsing the chest. So that it makes him feel that pressure, okay? And then I'm gonna start to go this way first. So the side you put the hand inside the collar, that's the side you post temporarily, only for a second or two. Because the moment you put the hand inside the collar, you have no more post on this side. And then sometimes they just cup your elbow or trap your wrist and then you roll you on this side. Fundamentals, right? So you want to try to prevent that. Once I put the hand inside the collar, I put all my weight and then I bring my weight to the side. So in this case, my right hand's inside the collar. I'm going to go towards my left side. It's very heavy. So I imagine that my hip bone is going to push my tricep or the, the elbow. Like this. See, it goes like this. And then see how I drive this weight? Okay, now I'm going to go over. See? It just circles across like this. I'm going to find my way inside the collar. So I use the thumb and I put it inside the collar. Now the four fingers, it's the opposite. One side is going to have four fingers inside, thumb on the outside. But the left hand is going to have the opposite. Thumb inside, four fingers on the outside. So we usually refer to this as the palm up, palm down variation. Okay? So you go one. Stabilize. I go over. Sometimes again, we refer to the first technique, you know? Hold them down a little bit. And then sometimes from here, as your elbow is down, is where you find your grip. That's fine as well. But the thing is, I gotta make sure my wrist goes right underneath his jawline. Like this, see? Boom, to here. A lot of times we're only on the, on the bones of his, of his uh, jaw, so it's not gonna be the choke. So I wanna create that choke. So I'm on the veins of the neck, and now watch this. I push everything together as I post to the mat, like this, to create the pressure for the choke, okay? I open up the collar. Hand goes inside, I plank, and I use my hip to push my elbow. See, that's a good detail. So if you're just here, like this, he's gonna post his hand. And sometimes he could just power a little bit, so it's, it, it still is gonna work, but it's because he's driving the weight on your elbow, so you can't create pressure. So sometimes what I like to do is I, push, I put my hip on my elbow like this, so it drives my weight even more. So it doesn't matter how strong he's gonna push, he has to push my body weight. It's difficult, right? When I get to here, sometimes, like I said, I stop here, now I find my thumb inside the collar, one. Now in order to finish the choke, I'm gonna straighten my arms, it goes straight, and now I bend everything down, and I go into the choke. What I do is, see that sweat spot I just put on the mat? I post on the mat. That way if he tries to bridge me over, my head is there, okay? Plus, the side where my arm was over, so I go one, I find my way through, thumb inside the collar, stretch the arm out, and then I start to pull everything together, and I post my head. So all of my body weight does the choke and not the strength of my arms, okay? So one last time. Arm straight, and bend. And that's gonna be our collar choke from the mouth, okay? Let's go.